Namaste Bandaman. Good morning, everyone. I can't hear you. Good morning. I am honored to be able to welcome this great organization, the North American Telugu Association, establishing the friendship between India and the United States with doctors and engineers, scientists and teachers, all of you who have come to the United States but will never forget the homeland of India. I am so pleased to be here with my dear friend and council member, uh, council member from Sugarland, Jaju. I'm delighted to have you here and all of the elected officials. Let the Houstonians stand up right now. Anyone that is in and around Sugarland, Houston, stand down so that we can say we welcome you. I'm one of these beautiful and talented dancers and beautiful girls who symbolize why we are here. And as they stand here, I wanted you to see my beautiful daughter, Erica Lee, that many of you will see on the ballot for the Harris County Board of Trustees. Why do I say that? I have come to you to say today that in my career in the United States Congress, in my career as a judge and a member of the Houston City Council, I have found my bondedness with India. And I am grateful to come today, President Reddy, and again announce and to be able to detail for you how members of the United States Congress, members of the India Caucus, of which I joined at its very beginnings and have never wavered, we were part of the team only eight members of Congress were invited to go back to India with President Clinton in the inaugural trip that we went and traveled all over India, including to New Delhi, including to Mumbai uh, and Hyderabad. We have gone everywhere. Hyderabad, of course, saw a giant surge of the talent and the genius of India. So we have continued to stand alongside of you. A nuclear power, a power that is humanitarian, a power that understands that we must lift everyone's vote. You've allowed me to be a friend. And when there was a question in the United States Congress as to whether we vote to allow, nuclear, nuclear, to allow India to expand the use of its civilian use of nuclear uh, resources, you can be assured, although the debate was very intense, Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee stood with India to allow and to say, we continue our friendship. <laughs> then I want to thank you so very much. As a younger lawyer, I had the privilege of serving as a staff person in the United States Congress to reinvestigate a tragedy in our lives. The assassination of John F. Kennedy and the assassination of Martin Luther King Jr. As a lawyer on that committee, it allowed me to probe the thinking of Dr. King to understand that he was truly a man of peace. And I can truly tell you, without any improvement, any promotion, Dr. King's life was moved as he went to India in the 1950s and you welcomed him. And he has always stayed guided to the life teachings of Gandhi. So the many times that I've gone to India, so many times on cultural exchanges, so many times to express the sympathy of the United States as a member of the Homeland Security Committee, I want you to know that it was our congressional delegation that was the first congressional delegation to go to the Taj Mahal after the hideous and horrible bombing and walk those streets and express our sympathy to the people of India. And I am grateful for those of you who are here 
that you will not forget in the United States, you'll not forget the cultural nexus and the reason why we have come to be so close, because we believe in the values of democracy and peace. And I thank you for allowing me to walk on the homestead of Gandhi, walk into his home and look at his simple living and to try and see how much common ground the United States and India can have. And in these days of terrorism, India and the United States have never parted. We've not parted from each other. We've stayed close. And to the people of India and those of Indian descent here in the United States, I count you as a friend. I count your religion as a friend. I count the youth that you have given us as friends. And I will say to you as I close, that I come in true honesty and friendship standing with a daughter because I know that you love your children, standing with children of talent and beauty because that is what exudes the spirit of India. And as a young boy grow up to be able to serve as men, all of you represent that talent and genius. Men, women, children, united in the United States, but remembering to look in the distance to be able to remember the beautiful land of India. I count you as my friend, friends of the United States, and of course, friends of India, the great and wonderful organization, the North American Telugu Association. May you live and continue to serve and bring the cultural heritage of India and the friendship of the United States seamlessly together, onward and upward. May the blessings be upon you. Thank you and have a wonderful convention.